Welcome to Two Camping Gurus. Today we're going to show you how to set up and light two different Coleman lanterns. Let's get to it. Welcome to Two Camping Gurus. If you like camping in the great outdoors, you are in the right place. Stick around to the end of this video, your free ebook and pre-trip checklist to make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. Now, let's get into today's content. All right, so you have purchased your Coleman lanterns and now you want to know how to light them. I have two different kinds here and I'm going to show you how to do it. However, this stuff is not needed and we're going to show you how to set each one of them up and how to light them one of them has electric ignition and the other one you have to light with a match i highly recommend you do not use a torch the one without the electronic ignition you can see in this particular one here comes in two pieces and of course your tank the pieces do not really fit together when they are not assembled there's no really way to put it on like this one here but to put it together you're just going to take your tank uh, it's very simple there's really not much to this you're going to insert the pin in the center of the tank press a little bit to get the thread started and then just crank this on so it's good and snug you don't have to over tighten it just snug it up and then you take your tank and it'll sit in the provided base that came with your lantern and that's all there is to it for setting it up. How do you light this one? Very simple. You light it with a match. You're just going to turn the thing, get your match lit, and then you're going to turn this on. You're going to hear uh, propane start to come out, hopefully. So hopefully you can hear that. So you just want to get your match lit and ready to go. Hopefully there's no wind here. There we go. So that's all there is to it. You just want to get the match up in one of the provided several holes in the base of this plate. You just get the match up inside there, turn it on, and then you got, you got, you're good to go. And I believe there's a couple settings on this one. So you can see it's getting brighter and louder because there's more propane coming out. Uh, so this provides a pretty good amount of light. You do have the hissing sound. Now it's daylight out here right now. You can see it's very easy to light, not much to it and it's easy to set up. It's got this nice hook on it, you can hang it up somewhere. Of course, it's got this nice wide base that you can put it on your picnic table. And while that's all fine and dandy, this one's much easier, so we're gonna show you that next. Uh, to shut this off, very simple, nothing to it. Just take and turn your valve back off. And we'll just show you one more time. We got a little bit of a breeze here. My mat's lit, all right, and now I'm just gonna get it up inside. You can see the match is lit, hopefully. Turn it on. There you go. That's the lowest setting. You can go up from there. So we're going to go ahead and shut this one off and show you how to set this one up. So for this one, you're not going to need the matches, which is great. I really like this one. It comes stored like this. The base does fit on it nicely, so you can store it away much easier than this unit. You can hang it, set it on a shelf somewhere, and you're good to go. But to set it up, you're just going to pull it out of the base. And as far as this goes, it's the same thing. You got that pin. You're going to insert it in the center of your tank, press a little bit, and start threading your threads. You just screw it on the rest of the way. Again, snug. Don't force it. Don't over tighten it. Don't leave it loose. Snug it up. And then this tank also will fit in this base here. Now, incidentally, I left these little tabs out, but when you're storing it, these tabs fold in so it takes up much less space. But for when you're using it, pull these things out. Gives you a nice, wide, secure base for your lantern to stay upright and a little bit safer. Tank sits right down there like that and you're good to go. Now as far as lighting this one, it's a piece of cake. Uh, everything up here essentially is the same as far as you know the, the globe area. The caps are a little bit different in these, but to light it, you see here, you get a little igniter. Hopefully you can see that right in there. And that creates a little bit of a spark once the propane is coming up through and it lights it that way. And to do that, you just turn the thing on, you're going to hear the propane come out, and then when I go further with it, it's going to make a click, and that's going to create that spark. And there we go. That's all there is to it. And then you can set your setting. Just turn it way down, very low, or to shut this one off, same thing, take it back to off. So again, to light this one, you turn your propane on, make it click, put it past the light, it'll create that spark and you fire it up. It fires pretty much on high by the time you turn it on there. Then you can turn this thing back to the setting you want. And you can turn this on pretty low, really. That's very, very, so you have a little bit uh, better control on the light output of this particular one here. So that's really all there is to it. So if you've recently bought a lantern, if you have a match lit kind, you light it like I showed you with this one. If you have an electronic one, you light it like this. Now there's several variations of these, but essentially they light the same way. Either way, they're both great lanterns, easy to light. I've had this thing for almost 20 years. It still works just fine. Turn it on. And that's all there is to it. So the next time you go camping and you need to light your lantern, 
you can use this video to make sure you light it safely. Don't use a torch. Use a match for this one here. And of course, this one here comes with its own igniter. Thanks for swinging by Two Camping Gurus. Please like, subscribe, comment. If you have any questions, leave a comment down in that section. Uh, stay tuned for next week. I think we're going to do another video on legacy food products and see if we like the flavor of another one and show you how to cook it and set it all up. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, don't forget to swing over to our website, twocampinggurus.com. If you haven't already, don't forget to click on the link down in the description for the pre-trip checklist and ebook to help make sure you and your rig are ready for the road. I'll also put links down in the description for these lanterns. Now, I don't believe one of these is still in the market exactly. It's a newer model, but it's essentially the same thing. So I'll find that, put a link down there. So if you're interested in the matchlit one or the automatic ignition one, I'll put links down there for those as well. As always, have a great day, happy camping, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, my match went out. No, it didn't, actually. Let's try that again. There we go.